would say this superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. <laughs> The door is locked, and the only way to get out of Hell in a Cell is through your opponent. No rules, no regulations. Guys, this is the place where rivalries are settled forever. If it can't be decided here, it can't be decided, period. Grip of the nose. A nasty shot to follow. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Getting tossed. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Ooh, what an man. uppercut! Jarring. Oh! Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Big kick. The sleeper is cinched in, and you can see in trouble here. And oh, oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Shoving them away. That's one way to bring your opponent to their feet. A nasty shot to follow. He isn't finding any space to recover. He's going to have to dig out of this in a hurry. Shoulders down. And he breaks the count quickly. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. He could pin his opponent right here. Stops the count before a two. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Corey, what advice would you give someone inside Hell in a Cell? Use the cell to your advantage. With the right strategy, you could turn this prison into your most effective weapon. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. He gets back into the ring. Are you ready? Here we go, one of the most mind-bending maneuvers in sports entertainment, UFO. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Oh. from attacks to that area. He's heading back to the ring. Up across the shoulders. Round and round and round we go. UFO. And that can be all. Let's see. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Clown. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.